Yeah. I'm Ben Britton from Wellington High School. I teach maths and also drive the 3D printers. Ben Britton from Wellington High School. I'm the maths teacher and I drive the 3D printers and got them introduced to the school. I've been using 3D printers for about five years now from the first time I saw them. And I've been really inspired by the way the, by the potential they have to use with my students. Now, 3D printers allow you to do things that would never have been possible before. They are a disruptive technology that has been changing the way things are manufactured, and it's going to change the way we, we relate to manufactured objects. When you have a 3D printer sitting beside you, it's like you've got a little factory that can make anything you want sitting at your desk. All you need to do is imagine what to make. A lot of schools have seen this and are really keen to get in on the party. In the last two years, many schools have gone out and bought their first printer. But once you have it, the first thing you figure out is that you need to know what to do with it. Last year, as part of an e-fellowship, I've got a chance to talk to teachers all around New Zealand to find out how they had used their 3D printers and what value they were adding to the teaching. Now, the big change that 3D printers bring is that they make producing your designs easy. This is a picture of my four-year-old daughter designing a swimming pool for a Christmas present. The, once she'd done the design, the printer turned it into an object. Knowing that the printer is going to take care of creating the design frees students up. This student designed this earbud holder. Imagine trying to carry off that design with hand tools in a school workshop. It would have been very, very difficult. In this architecture project, students were, were using the 3D printer to create fiddly pieces and bits and bits of the architect sorry, and bits of the design that would have been very, very difficult to do well by hand. Again, this freed students up to create a design that they really cared about, not something that, that they felt they would be able to pull off. Because the 3D printer takes care of producing things, and it does it quickly, it means students can go through a much, much more realistic design cycle. They can start off with a rough prototype and then gradually improve it. All they need to do is tweak the design, and the printer takes care of creating the object, really speeding the process up, so they can get something that really, actually works. 3D printers can be used in many different areas. In this food technology project, it was used to create a very customized cutter for some candies. In this project, students used the 3D printers to design the first step of a longer design process. The printer created the blank, which was used to create a mold, which was used to create pewter jewelry that the students got to take home. Now here is a link to some, here are a few ideas for some good software to get yourself started. SketchUp is a very, very good thing to start with, going up to things like Blender, which are very hard to learn, but very useful. There's new software coming out all the time. Please Google, uh, Google for some review sites and you'll get some really good ideas. And that's me.